Module 12, question three, gives us a company that is going to grow at the same EBIT for, I mean, it's not gonna grow, it, the EBIT's gonna continue in perpetuity. You have an unlevered cost of equity and a corporate tax rate of 24%. <clears throat> we have a perpetual bond outstanding with a market value of 1.8 million. What's the enterprise value of the company and what's the equity value? Okay, so first step, we have EBIT, we have taxes right here. Um, we can easily calculate the value of these cash flows. Uh, so let's start with EBIT. Let's put our tax rate up here, 0.24. Our EBIT is 775,000. Let me make this a, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're gonna pay taxes on that of this. And then our sort of free cash flow is just going to be that minus the taxes. Okay, but we also have a uh, unlevered cost of equity. So I'm just gonna call it R, 0.12. So that means that the value of this perpetuity, I think I spelled that right, is going to equal that divided by that. Oh, I know, I made a mistake. Oops. So this is the value of the unlevered firm. And to get the total value of the firm, what we, or the enterprise value, what we need to do is think about the debt. Well, we have 1.8 million. So that means the PV of the benefit of debt is just going to be 24% times the amount of debt outstanding. Uh, and then from there, we need the enterprise value, which is going to be the unlevered value plus the present value of the debt, 5.3 million. Notice that's the answer that we get right here. So uh, the value of the debt is what we have above. Oops. And then the value of the equity is that minus that. And if you really wanted to, here, let me put these all in the same format. You could calculate percent equity and percent uh, debt, the different values. That's not part of the question. Uh, notice that we didn't have any chance of um, financial distress. That's not included in the problem. If there, well, we haven't done essay questions, but like a fancy question on a test would be to talk about the impact of that and uh, what it would do is drive down the benefit of debt. So anyway, that's the way to answer this question. The intuition is that we started with um, an EBIT, a tax rate, and a discount rate uh, for the unlevered firm, and so we knew that we could calculate this value using those things. Once we have the value of the debt, we can back into the benefits of debt, and then we calculate the enterprise value, we have the value of debt, we can back into the value of equity. Hope that helps.